It's Sean of Exclusive Entertainment, and before I get these tips away, I gotta give you the verse of the day. This is one of those one-off videos, just in case. Uh, something that I was finding pretty irritating as I go through and pull footage that um, I want to possibly use, or that I definitely want to use, uh, out of the media pool. So. I got that part I wanted. Let's say I wanted this random part with her hands up. Right. Out. Right. And then I hit comma to drop it down and I want to keep working on that. It'll switch to the timeline. And that slows me down because now I got to double click this to reactivate it. And then go back through the same clip and try to uh, continue to pull footage that I want out of that specific clip. That is very time consuming and I went and looked up a forum which is what I found right here and he was having the same issue I was having so the quick fix for that as you look under the edit menu you'll see it right here switch the timeline after edit just disable that and now you can in and out a certain point, like I like that part. All right, something like that, and then now I in and out that, and I could keep working and finding points I like in the clip. But yeah, that's how you uh, fix that if you having that issue. This is definitely one of those random videos that you might not feel like help you as much and let you go on through this specific thing. So this is one of those if you know you knows and it'll kind of help stop that auto screen swap or auto timeline swap from happening. So I hope this video helped. It's just a, a quick one-off video. Please like, share, and subscribe. It's Sean and I'm out.